Hi everyone. Today we're going to make some ear cleaner and then in my next video I will show you how to clean the dog's ears. Um, so this is a tried and true recipe that I have been using for a few years now um, with the essential oils and a few common items you will have in your house. If not, they're easy um, to get. Um, so first we're going to go over the oils um, that I actually use in the um, uh, recipe, um, just so you understand why we are using them in the um, ear cleaning recipe. Um, so first of all, we use lavender. And of course, we all know lavender. Lavender is um, a great oil for many things. Uh, great for uh, in the kitchen, on burns, uh, great for skin, sleep, calming. So in our um, ear solution, um, it is great for that calming of the skin. Um, so we have some lavender in there. And then next we have geranium. So geranium is great for, uh, promotes healthy skin. Um, and we use the geranium again for our ear solution uh, for the healthy skin. It also is a natural um, insect repellent. Um, so just a little extra info for you on the geranium. And then next we have our frankincense. So frankincense, as a lot of you know, if you don't, is the king of oils. It can be used topically, internally, or aromatically. Um, and it has so many health benefits. Um, so this one in particular, we are using in our ear cleaner to promote healthy cellular function. Um, it's also great, another one great for skin. Um, so this is another one we're using um, for skin properties in our ear solution. Um, our next one is basil. I know, who would have thought basil in our ears? Um, basil is great for um, inflammation, um, antibacterial, antimicrobial. Um, this one actually helps with nervous system health. Um, I actually use this in my ears when I travel. I have bad ear uh, tubes there and I just uh, make up a solution of basil, lavender, frankincense, and wild orange. And I just roll that on the back of my ear all the way down my jawline. And it helps with my um, ears not getting as uh, blocked as they normally would uh, without it. So a little information on basil. And our last one is our amazing Arbovitae. Arabovite comes from Canada, and it is a powerful cleansing agent. Um, so this one's great for um, helping clean those ears out. Uh, so I know it sounds like a lot of oils, but it's not going to be when you uh, and when we actually make the recipe. Um, so uh, just a few more benefits of the Arabovite: uh, clear, healthy-looking skin. Um, it's a powerful cleansing agent, um, and it is just an overall great uh, one that you can use for uh, cleaning and um, skin stuff. So those are our oils that we are going to use in this recipe. And so we're going to get started. I'm going to show you the recipe, and then we're going to make it together. So this is the actual recipe. Leave it there for a sec. I'll also post it in the comment section um, after this video loads. So we're going to go ahead and make this. So I have my measuring cup. You don't need a measuring cup. I just like to use it because I you can pour afterwards easily. Um, so I like to start with my witch hazel. And I normally make like a tri triple batch of this. Um, 
because as everyone knows, I have a lot of dogs. Then I sample a lot of this. So what we're going to do for the actual recipe, we're going to do one recipe. So it's one cup. Or witch hazel and you want to get you know the purest witch hazel you can with no chemicals um, nothing added uh, and then we go ahead and we start doing our oils so we're going to start with our lavender that's 15 drops and then our Geranium, also 15. You can see, you know, some come up faster than the other. It's just the viscosity of the actual oil. Um, now we're on frankincense, another 15. And then to our basil, and another 15. And finally, our arborvitae. And that is the only different one. That is going to be 20. All right, so we got all our oils in there. And as you can see, it's not a lot of oils compared to the liquid that we have in there. Um, so at this point, you can add your apple cider vinegar or not. If you have a dog that has um, ears that are inf inflamed, um, red, um, irritated, I would skip this because um, it will sting a little bit. But if you're just doing maintenance on the dogs, um, you can go ahead and add this and it just helps with another uh, changing the pH of the ear and uh, helping dry out the ear. Um, so none of my dogs are having issues. So we're going to go ahead and add our tablespoon. Right into there. Yeah, that's our it. And then just go ahead and give that a little swirl. All right, so from here, you want to um, store your ear cleaner. So I store mine, as you can see, this is huh, very old, um, but it's labeled and it's ear cleaner. It's a little bit left in there. And it's just an old glass honey jar. And I uh, ran through the dishwasher or whatnot. You can also get these glass containers from the dollar store, it does have a top. And you can actually make your pads. These are just cotton round pads. So I like to do it as I go and put the um, solution on the pad as I clean. Or you can just do a bunch of a head. Pop them in your glass container. I'm going to scroll that again because it's been sitting for a couple of seconds. And just pour that over just till it's wet. And then I'm going to put the rest in my honey jar container. And remember, you want to make sure you're storing your uh, anything you make with the oils in glass. 
um, so it does not eat away in any of the plastic or whatnot. So there, that'll get me through a oh, good, probably a good month or so with my dogs. Probably more. Um, but as you can see, these are all ready to go. So now all I have to do is take one out. Make sure you wring it out well. Open it back up and now I'm ready to go. Clean the ear. So that's gonna be our next video. And I hope you enjoyed this ear cleaning video. I'll post this again so you can see it one more time. I'll also post a link for those oils in the comment section below. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, education video on how to keep your dog's ears healthy. Um, I recommend for healthy ears, uh, wiping them out once a week. If you're having a problem um, with them, wipe them out until there are there's no debris on the pad and then wipe them out daily until you get no debris and then go to a maintenance of twice a week to once a week. Um, and that should keep your ears healthy. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please comment below if we, uh, you have any comments and I hope uh, to see you soon. Bye for now.